What's up YouTube? This is Cube Noob here. Uh, this video is a little bit overdue. I think I said I was going to do an overview of all my puzzles after I did my top 5 video and that didn't really happen. Uh, but anyway, better late than never, right? So let's get into it. Uh, I've got a lot to go through here so I'm not going to talk about any puzzle too much. We're just kind of going to go over all of them real quick. So starting off, uh, this gets an honorable mention as a twisty puzzle. It's really more so just like the perplexus toys where you'd get like the ball through the maze and the various obstacle points. But it does have the Rubik's element of having to turn it to line up the tracks. So this is kind of cool I think, but not really a twisty puzzle. This is another unusual entry in my collection. This is the uh, X-Mars. Uh, I think I actually talked about this in my top five. Uh, so I won't really go over this too much either, but it's kind of cool. It's uh, like a robotic puzzle, so it actually has motors in it. It can uh, scramble and solve itself. It does two by two, three by three, bunch of different modes. So there's actually multiple puzzles in one. It's a pretty, pretty interesting one. Uh, gosh, I wish I actually knew the brands of a lot of my cheaper puzzles. Uh, this is probably just like some seven dollar. I'm guessing it's probably like a cheap. Pyraminx, uh, I've got a couple Pyraminx, but don't really have any nice Pyraminx because I don't like Pyraminx very much. So definitely prefer Mega Minx a lot. This one's really cool. Uh, I've saw this a couple times now. It's the Methods uh, Sphere Gear Puzzle. It's a lot harder than like the Chi E version of the Gear Puzzles because it has these extra pieces between the centers and the outer pieces. A lot of fun though, and it turns really, really well. Speaking of gear puzzles, here's a one puzzle. I actually got this as like a, I think it was a $10 mystery gift from the cubicle. Uh, I think it's supposed to be like a skewed gear puzzle. I don't really know what it's supposed to be exactly, but I don't really care for it much. So I've never really cared to actually spend the time to solve it. Uh, here's one I do like a lot though. This is the gear barrel from Chi. Uh, one thing I really like about Chi is that these puzzles are like five or six bucks each probably. And this thing just is so smooth. Really good. Really good puzzle from Chi. And on that note, I really won't talk about this much at all because it's the same puzzle pretty much. This is the Chi Gear Ball, which as you can see, compared to the Mefferts, does not have as many pieces, so it's, they're pretty easy puzzles. Uh, let's see here. Here's my, one of my other Pyraminx. I think I just have two Pyraminx. Uh, also, pretty just cheap, standard Pyraminx. Nothing special. I think I probably got that as a mystery puzzle, otherwise I wouldn't have two Pyraminx. Uh, I talked about this in my top five uh, as the one that I actually really, really hate. Uh, this is the Axis V2 cube. I'm not a fan of this puzzle at all. I just I don't like puzzles that have irregular uh, lines of symmetry, I guess. I don't know. I just I don't like this puzzle. It turns so weird. Oh. Let's see. I always get Let's get these mixed up. So, I want to say this is considered a 2x2 two two Mega Minx because it has the uh, the colored centers, so you have to keep it relative to those centers. Uh, and then this is a Killer Minx because uh, as you can see, it just has the black centers. So, yeah, I think that's what distinguishes a Pyraminx, or I mean, a Killer Minx and a Two by two mega megamix. I'm not really sure, to be honest. Uh, here's another one of my puzzles I never really cared for much, never cared to solve. Uh, this is the ghost two by two. I'm sure if I actually like spent half an hour on this, I could probably get it solved. But I just I don't really I don't like the ghost cubes very much. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I got one more in this box actually. Uh, this is an interesting one. This is the Lubin Lock Puzzle. Uh, so you can see it's kind of a... It's not really a twisty puzzle at all either. It's just an interesting 
take on the cube puzzles. Kind of a fun little change up. Stickers. All right, this is the, I always forget what this puzzle's called. It's like the YJ Yuhu V2 Sculpted Mega Minx. I don't know. It's just a, it's a sculpted Mega Minx. It's uh, one of the pretty well reputed Mega Minx on the market, uh, especially being on the cheaper side. Uh, just turns really well. Uh, decent, decent little Mega Minx. Let's see, this is, yeah, this is the GAN iCarry, uh, this is a Bluetooth cube, so really fun for like practicing algorithms and stuff. You go in Cube Station, like go into a specific algorithm and it'll automatically like start and stop the timer on that algorithm as you start to execute it, so you can kind of really see how you're doing on each algorithm. Uh, I really enjoy it for practicing anyway. Uh, let's see, this little... This is a one by three by three fidget spinner. Uh, I think I actually bought one of these just for the novelty of it. And then I have a second one that's in the box in here somewhere because I ordered a bunch of mystery puzzles from the cubicle. But uh, yeah, I probably just shouldn't get mystery puzzles anymore. There aren't enough unique puzzles left on the market to satisfy getting me unique puzzles. See some random lubes. I got some Gan Lube, Nebula, Martian, you know, some Traxxas that probably came. I think that was free from the cubicle. And we got some more lubes on the way. Oh, yeah, here we go. This is good stuff. This is my uh, Gan 11M. Hard to bet. Uh, I've already talked, plenty of people have talked about the 11M, so no need to go into that. Sweet, sweet cube. What's this? This is a this is a YJ four x four ten dollar mystery puzzle I got. Again, I already had at least one four x four at the time when I worked as a mystery puzzle, so this was also not a new or unique puzzle to me. That's decent, you know. It's not. I think I like my. I think I have a Moe four x four also. I like my other four x four better. Nothing wrong with it though. Uh, this is a puzzle I will never. I'm not ever gonna scramble this thing. It's just one of those puzzles you just kind of keep in your collection. Uh, I don't know how the camera actually shows this, but it's got like the lenticular stickers. So as you look at it from different angles, they change colors, which uh, yeah makes this very appropriately named the Impossible Cube. It's I don't know if I would ever get this solved again if I scrambled it. We got a couple more unsolved puzzles in here. I apologize. I've not had the most time to work on them. Uh, actually, I think my fiance's been working on this 5x5. Five five. She's gonna get into the larger cubes. Uh, I think this is Mo Yu. I can't recognize their. Yeah, Mo Feng Jiaoshi. Okay, so that's Mo Yu. What's in here? Okay, this is my first speed cube I ever got. This is the Moyu GTS2. It was like 20 bucks compared to the $70 GAN 11M. I mean, I love my 11M, but to be honest, it's probably not realistically worth the money for anyone. But you can definitely tell the difference between the GAN 11 and like a $20 budget speed cube. Uh, let's see, this is X-Men Volt V2 square one, I believe. I think it's the V2. It definitely turns really, well, really, really well. I wanna say it's the, the V2. I'm not gonna scramble this, cause I actually haven't solved the square one in months. It's probably taken me a little while to get this solved again. I don't feel like doing that much work today. I've got homework to do. Let's see, here's my other 4x4. Yeah, it's a MoU. Yeah, it's just a little, a little bit smoother for sure. Uh, 
another square one. I actually don't know what brand this is. I think this is the one my buddy gave me when I was first getting into shape mods. Actually, I actually have no idea what brand that is. Let's see what's in this box over here. Let's see here. This is this is just an RS3 I'm going to give to my nephew. Uh, he's kind of getting into cubing a little bit and I think he has like a Rubik's brand, so he was playing with my 11 then the other day and he said, this cube is God. He just, he was blown away by how great it was compared to the Rubik's brand. So that was, uh, that was kind of funny actually on the note of those RS 3Ms uh, here in my collection. I actually got these to give away. So uh, whenever this channel gets 2,000 subscribers, I'm gonna be giving away these three RS 3Ms and uh, plus to those three winners, I'm going to give one mystery puzzle for my collection. Uh, it might be uh, potentially not something that's in the box and still sealed and everything, but yeah. I'm going to get to a thousand subscribers so you can get one of these free puzzles. Let's see here. Here's my 11 by 11 Full disclosure, I've never actually like fully scrambled and solved this thing just because 7x7 seven seven took me long enough to uh, not want to scramble anything larger. I just bought it for kind of having the collection, plus I used it for making my profile pic for my YouTube channel, so. Uh, so do we have any puzzles in here? I think this is all just miscellaneous stuff. Solve guides and bags and cases and stuff. Uh, let's see, mystery two by two. Mow you. Pretty smooth, I don't like do much two by two but what I can tell seems like a good two by two. Uh, here's the pinnacle of Mega Minx. Probably honestly again like all other GAN products not really justifiable uh, how much it costs but at the same time it kind of is. <laughs> uh, I'm sure anyone that's in this video knows what I mean. I mean it's just such a small difference but when you're really really into cubing and you really enjoy something I mean like you know spend the money on it right. But uh, this is a really good Mega Minx. I like the color contrast on it a lot. Like, so that blue versus that blue. It's just very clear. Uh, much clearer, I feel like, than on my other Mega Minx. Alright, so that gets us down to this one box here. The big box. Okay. Let's see. I've got a jelly cube. I don't. I don't, even, I don't even remember buying this cube, honestly. I don't know. But yeah, I've got a jelly cube, whatever. It's a cube. I don't really like cube. 7x7, seven seven, then I'm halfway through solving again. I don't know why, honestly. I ever re scrambled it. I was perfectly happy after solving it once. Uh, but whatever. That's how it goes, right? I've oh, got a few cuboids in here. Got a 2x3x3. Two by three by three. Kind of one of those you just solve it once or twice and you sit it down and don't pick it up for a long time, right? All right, so this one right here, this one's kind of an interesting one, uh, interesting little novelty item anyway. These are hard to find, actually. Like, there's not a whole lot of them available even on the internet. Uh, but this is a Rubik's Speed Cube. I can barely even use it. Yeah, this is so rough. I mean, like, it's better than the regular Rubik's Cubes, I guess. Like, the regular Rubik's brand cube, but it still has, like, zero corner cutting. It's not really much faster. 
Uh, I didn't I didn't really expect it to be very good when I bought it, even though it was kind of expensive, more expensive than like, you know, a lot of flagship speed cubes. But they're hard to find, so I decided, all right, I gotta get one of those. And actually, I need to get two of those so that I can have one to play with and one to keep in the packaging. So, uh, time about this. I got the package. All right, so this is what actually came with this uh, Rubik's Speed Cube. <laughs> Why is the instruction manual in there like upside down? That's funny. But uh, yeah, it comes with like some cheap, weird, generic Rubik's brand lube. It's probably the crappiest lube ever. Uh, but it's it's interesting anyway. I mean, I guess if you were getting into cubing and maybe all you had was the regular Rubik's brand, uh, maybe your parents like see this at the store and they're like. Wow, he's selling the Rubik's. Let's get him the Rubik's Speed Cube. And they bring this home, and they're like, "Yeah, I'm so excited! It's the Rubik's Speed Cube." Uh, maybe it would help you to uh, enjoy cubing a little bit more. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to give this thing merit, okay? <laughs> it's a novelty. Uh, let's see. Here is my RS3. Uh, nothing special about it compared to the other RS3s. I just wanted one for myself. Here's one of my favorite shape mods. This is the uh, Fisher Cube. It's a really, really fun one. I think that was also in my top five. Uh, here's my first cube ever. This is my actual uh, original, like Rubik's brand cube. colored windmill puzzle. I've got the mirror version of that as well. This is the mirror windmill puzzle. Uh, this thing is incredibly difficult. I, I feel like the color windmill probably honestly isn't that bad. I've never solved it because I've never cared to after doing the windmill. This thing's like going to be too easy. I really thought I already pulled this out. Did I not already pull out my gear cube? No, I guess not. Okay, well here's the gear cube from Chi. Um, it solves just like their other gear puzzles, but really, really interesting and fun to turn, especially when you first get a, your first gear puzzle and you start turning, it's just, it's really interesting. Uh, see, this is the Okamoto latch puzzle. This is probably, probably among the top most difficult puzzles that I have. I mean, this thing is just not easy. I can get like the cross made and a couple FTL pairs in it, and then I'm just like, where do I go from here? How can I possibly do anything else with this? Uh, I really want to do it without like looking up guides for it, but I feel that's honestly probably the only way I'll ever get this solved again. This is just such a hard puzzle. Uh, if you don't know what's going on, so these arrows, these indicate the way the face can turn, right? So, as you can see, you've got an arrow pointing this way, and an arrow pointing this way, how I have it right now, so this face cannot turn. This face cannot turn. This face cannot turn. This face. This face can at least turn this way. So yeah, that's it's really challenging because every time you turn it, you're altering, you know, how you can possibly turn it. Really challenging, really, really challenging. Let's see, here's just the, I think this is a Xing Shao Gigaminx. Uh, it's, I don't know, honestly, it's not pleasant to turn. I don't know if there's better, better Gigaminx out there on the market, but, I mean, it's, it's a fun puzzle. It's just, it's not great as far as actually turning it fast. <clears throat> now, let's see, this is my, oh gosh, what is this thing called? It's called treasure chest cube, but I just remember what brand it was. Sorry guys, I don't remember what brand this is at all. But they're kind of cool though. Oh, there's a cube in there. A smaller cube. Oh, 
if anyone gets one of these and you're wondering like how in the world do I put this thing back together like I did when I first got it you just basically it's gonna feel like you're gonna break it you just have to really over torque the cap it's a little bit worrisome you, you definitely feel like you're gonna break it this is like the hardest puzzle that I ever thought would be able I'd be able to solve in like 10 seconds it's uh, I guess it's a mirror one by three by three but what makes it so hard? There's some pieces that are like almost the exact same size and shape, so it's, but they're not. So it's really, really hard without having like the box or just like a picture of this. I have to, I have to look up a picture of this puzzle on the internet every time I solve it just to be able to even do the permutations correctly. Oh, let's see, this is the Kirby Copter. Um, just another one of those kind of cheap puzzles I bought because it looked interesting and I've now done nothing with it at all. <laughs> Some people say that's a really, really fun puzzle though, so I guess if you get into it, it can be a lot of fun. This is the Dino Cube. This is a pretty, pretty simple one, but fun to solve intuitively. Another cuboid. 2x2x3. Uh, Another two by two. I think that's my Jay's logo. I don't really know. Honestly, I don't know. I never can keep track of all those logos. Uh, Sing So Rubik's Clock. This is an interesting puzzle. I, I never heard of Rubik's Clock until I got like really deep into speed cubing. Uh, this is actually a world championship event right here. This like a lot of these you see here if you're not familiar with this whole scene like this this uh, this this like some of these are not world championship events you wouldn't think that the Rubik's clock would be but it is uh, a third square one why do I have three square ones how did this happen how did this happen Yeah, I don't, I don't honestly know why or how I went up three of those. I have a problem. Uh, let's see, here's my 2x2 two two mirror cube. And I actually, uh, I had a silver 3x3 three three mirror, and I actually, I wanted to get my buddy one. So I bought this gold one, and I kind of decided I like the gold better than the, the silver, so I put the silver in the box and kept this one for myself. I know I'm selfish. Here's one of my favorite shape mods. This is the uh, three by three twisty puzzle. I think they call it actually. It's called a twisty puzzle. Uh, kind of fun because it's a super cube. So you got to worry about your uh, center orientation and trying to get the first layer done is really, really interesting all the time. Uh, here's my six by six, probably a MOU, I'm guessing. Yeah, it's MOU. Nothing special, but you can never go wrong with Moe I mean, they do pretty much everything good. Here's my other little fidget spinner thing. Uh, one of my, one more of my unsolved puzzles. This is uh, some sort of, some, I hear them called bandage cubes, and I hear some people call them puppet cubes. Whatever it is, it's, it's one of those, and uh, yeah, I don't really know how to solve it, honestly. Oh, this is this is probably the hardest puzzle I have. Honestly, I don't. I honestly don't know if I'll ever be able to solve this one. Um, I don't know. Maybe if you know, maybe when I get to like sub ten on Rubik's uh, three by three, and I have a little more time. Uh, maybe I can try and figure out the one by one. But uh, right now, I just I can't even figure out how to scramble it. Honestly, this thing is infuriatingly using I don't know I guess I'll just never know but anyway uh, yeah that's uh, kind of my collection for now oh wait wait oh yeah you thought I was done I got one more small GAN and then Kat has one of these on her keyring as well so we got a couple of those little GANs but that's pretty much it. Willis.
Get out of the way. So yeah, that's my collection. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I know my collection isn't quite as wild as some YouTubers out there, uh, but I think it's enough that anyone that's not into cubing probably thinks I'm insane. Uh, but that's all right. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please uh, you know like, comment, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And uh, of course, once I get to uh, a thousand subscribers, I'm gonna be giving away those uh, Mo URS threes. So. Uh, Keep an eye out for that, and when I hit a thousand subscribers, I will post information about that giveaway, and uh, we will see you in the next video.